was wondering when you'd show up. Welcome to paradise. <laughs> if your idea of paradise is a place where a sick, creepy boy air can spy on anyone in the country with total impunity. <laughs> Actually, I guess that kind of is the American dream, huh? Hmm. Anyhow, uh, I digress. You have made a big name for yourself. And that name is Dangerous Idiot, who's just waiting to get robbed. So do yourself a favor and put some of that uh, not-so-hard-earned money into real estate. Then you can be a real player, just like me. <laughs> oh, Jesus, as I say that, I realize how depressing and pathetic I've become. I'm a, a mess, you know, uh, take pity on me. <laughs> End it now, kill me, ah! <laughs> and I thought it was funny. Okay, well, like I said, put some of that money into property. There's already people who want to rob you, and soon enough, there will be people who want to kill you. And if anybody gets particularly fresh, just give me a shout. I can put a bounty on them, and every whack job in the state will want to get them off your back for you. Of course, you never know. Maybe someone asked me to do it to you. <laughs> oh, that was awkward. Uh, yes, come in, come in. It's, uh... Good to see you again. Uh, been a while. <laughs> yeah, I I've never been good at small talk. I don't have many friends. Uh, I do sometimes meet people online, and then I arrange to meet them out in the real world, and then I go there, but I just I hide, and I watch them, and I think, wow, now you are experiencing 1% of what I felt my entire childhood when I spoke to a girl. Wow. I've never told anyone that before. <laughs> feels good to talk. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> I know you've been complaining, but you weren't ready. Now, maybe, just maybe you are ready to do real work. I mean, are you interested? Because if you are, I have a few things uh, coming down the wire soonish. If you want, I'll contact you. But don't let me down on this. I'm putting my neck on the line, and I like my neck. It's my best feature. Aside from my sparkling conversation. Uh huh. Yes, yes, this will uh, do very nicely. Very nice place you've got. Very uh, chic. <laughs> Nothing like a bourgeois bank robber to remind me of how strange Los Santos has become. In my day, the psychos at least had the dignity to be psychotic. Nowadays, it's all about uh, home furnishings and going straight. All right, you ready? Because this is it. Well, it's, it's not it, but uh, it's something. It's something uh, <laughs> very big. And it's not quite ready yet, but I wanted to uh, see how you're doing. What I've got is a Fleesa Bank franchise. And it's nothing too complicated. There's no buy-in. Normally, there would be a buy-in. You would put in money up front, we would arrange the job, and you would pull it off. But this time, I'll uh, cover the upfront costs. Call it the uh, price of getting a look at you. And there's no risk to you. Unless, of course, you count uh, getting locked up or shot. <laughs> so, you ready? I mean, what do you think? You uh, have questions, comments, concerns? All right. What are you waiting for? Let's go see this place. In. I've patched into their security feed on my cell. Take a look. Uh, what are we looking at? Um, small joint, not much security. Staff won't give a crap, <laughs> especially about the deposit boxes. Customers will probably be thinking uh, how to turn this into a screenplay. <laughs> the boxes are in the back behind the safe door. We want box number 167. Yeah, it's right on the highway with good access. That works for you. You can get out quick, but it'll also work for the cops. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Paige will set up a board for you, won't you, Paige? <laughs> I'd let you do it if you could reach. I mean, I didn't see any milk crates for you to stand on. <laughs> mm-hmm. The uh, most important thing to look for in an employee is respect. You can't get anything done without respect. Where was I? Uh, oh, yes, yes, uh, the room. Uh, Paige just 
setting up this board on which you will plan your scores. You'll use it to uh, set out all the prep work you need to do, uh, select your crew, figure out how the take from a score should be split up. So you need a crew to take a score. But only one person can be in charge. Respect. Hmm? Is that right, Paige? Blow me. <laughs> All right. <it's> <clears throat> You're only going to need uh, one thing for this, uh, for this job. It's a high-speed armored car. Now, instead of getting one legitimately and leaving a nice long paper trail to your front door, you're gonna be jacking one from a nasty Korean crew and leaving a nice long paper trail to their door instead. <laughs> this is good to go. Hey, here's your board. Good, good, good. And when you're ready to move on the car, go over it, study the plan, tick it off the list. You must be methodical. This isn't just a dumb crime. Oh, there, there is an element of that, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and when you've got the car, we'll come back here and talk bank jobs. <laughs> Thank jobs, thank jobs. Ah, <laughs> your, uh, your first time. You know, the uh, first times, well, it's never easy. There won't exactly be uh, fireworks, you know? <laughs> it'll, be, uh, it'll be vaguely awkward and uh, disappointing, you know? you probably stick the wrong thing and the wrong part, and you'll finish too early, and, and you won't be able to, to make eye contact afterwards. But, uh... But new worlds will, will open up. <laughs> Something will have changed, you know? New uh, opportunities, uh, new risks. <laughs> and that's when you'll remember that old Uncle Lester was here for you, holding your hand, you know, guiding you through it. <laughs> and then you'll feel a little creeped out, but, but you're gonna repress it. Squash it down. And we'll never talk about it, okay? Okay? Mm. Okay, first time, Lisa! Woo! <laughs> it's a two-man score, right? One of you drives, keeps the heat off of you. The other goes into the bank, goes to the specific safety deposit box. Then you get out of there, you get in that fast armored car, and you get the hell out of that place. Then once you're clean, once you got no heat on you, come see me, give me the box, and you get paid. Hmm? Okay. You know, uh, like I said, it is your first time, so, uh, don't expect too much. There are uh, wild, mm, insane, mind-blowing orgies in your future. <laughs> orgies. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> yeah, we all got to start somewhere. <laughs> Good luck. Ooh, yes, it is the holiday season at the Crest Residence, and Daddy's out drinking. <laughs> Say, you passed. Uh, if that thing I talked about comes up, I'll call you in. In the meantime, if anyone comes to me, I'll mention you as a reliable pair of hands. Hey! For the first time, that wasn't bad. But don't get clingy. <laughs> well, you all look good, hmm? How do I look? Do I look like a, like a model? Like I work at Pekka Woods. <laughs> like a regular dreamboat. <laughs> well, whatever. We all love banks, hmm? Especially the, the big ones that take big risks, because they just know that if they went under, we'd all be dead. Too big to fail, hmm? Great idea. Let's put it to the test, hmm? This is a little something I came up with. I, uh, I like to call it bank robbing with a social agenda, if you will. <laughs> it's something I, I tell myself so I can get some sleep at night. Anyway, <clears throat> those overly leveraged turds at Pacific Standard Bank, they are going to be hit at their flagship branch. How are we going to do that? Well, it's a little complicated, but there are some trucks that I need you to photograph. One of those trucks has a built-in transponder, and we need our transponder to blip out a don't explode signal to the die packs when we take them out of range of the Pacific Standard signal. Get it? 
All right, don't worry about it. Just photograph the trucks, and I'll tell you which one to hit. And once we've done that, we'll need to have the transponder programmed to Pacific Standard's frequency. Now, my uh, signals expert, Avi Schwartzman, he's a... <laughs> He's uh, been on the run for years, you know, avoiding people and uh, hold up somewhere in the middle of nowhere near North Chumash. You know, you go up there, you make nice, and you bring the device back, and then I will brief you on the rest. What do you say? Oh, not very much, I imagine. <laughs> mm. Ah, good, good, good. Yes, you're doing good. Just, uh, three more little tasks to perform, and we should be good to go. First, we're going to need some hacking equipment, the kind that nobody makes, and the sets that are in existence are all traced, so we'll need to rob it from someone who won't mention that it's gone missing. Bank robbers! <laughs> These guys. Now, they've, uh, set up a warehouse behind Vinewood Boulevard, maybe. Maybe they're getting some of the, the same ideas we are. Now, I recommend that you get the same van they have and switch out the equipment. And that way, when you make the run, they'll go chasing after their own van, and one of you can get away clean with the equipment. Now, at the same time, we'll need these thermal charges for the first vault door. Now, Merriweather, with whom I understand you are very, very well acquainted, <laughs> has a regular contract to carry explosives across the city for their mining company. You will attack the convoy and Calafia Bridge. Take the charges from that shipment. And lastly, we're going to need some bikes. Hmm? Fast ones. Really, really fast ones. <laughs> I have, um, I've sourced some very, very, very fast bikes indeed. <laughs> They're currently being, uh, borrowed from the manufacturer by a, a group of bikers that lives out in, uh, <coughs> In, in Sandy Shores and, and Alderney and uh, well, you know, all the corners of the country that are still living in the past. Anyway, get all that done and uh, we'll be good to go. Okay, bye. Okay, okay, okay. So, are you ready? This should be uh, pretty easy. I've kept it simple since you all seem uh, pretty simple. In a good way. In a, in a good way. In a good uh, straight ahead, uh, low IQ kind of... Oh, no, let's do no, let's just stop it. Stop it. It's the new meds. <laughs> okay, armed robbery, here we go. Whew. Uh, here it is. Keep it simple. You go in heavy, you go in well armed. Some of you will do crowd control. The vault team will go downstairs, blow the first vault door with the thermal charges, then use the card to get into the network and open the second vault door. And then look out, because you'll have about two minutes before every cop in town is waiting for you outside the bank. So you move fast, you get on the bikes, you split, and we meet at the rendezvous point, okay? Good luck, people. Nothing can go wrong. It's uh, all good. I'm all good. All doors opening. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh! My friends! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> Woo. I know I didn't do that much, but you, you, oh, you! You know, I thought you were just a bunch of uh, creepy and quiet weirdos. Turns out you're a bunch of creepy, quiet weirdos with talent! You, you rob and you steal and destroy like, like geniuses! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Here, let me, uh, wire you your money. You know, <laughs> I will never forget the good times. You know, all the, the laughs we had. You know, you're like family. The picnic, the picnic, you know, and the hike in the woods, and, and all the selfies, and... <laughs> Oh, and the time we went rollerblading and we, we watched the, the sunset and we, we stayed up all night talking and sharing our innermost fears and, and then... What? Was that... That wasn't you? I, even the, the skinny dipping and the... Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> I, uh... The drugs. Oh man, the drugs. I'm a, 
I am a heavily medicated man. I, uh, I'm not well at all. I, uh, I'm a little embarrassed. Um, okay, the money. Here. And here. And here. And here. Okay, you better take off and uh, take care. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Yes, yes, come in, come in, come in. Have a seat anywhere. This is the one room in the country where we cannot be recorded. Can I take this mask off now? Oh, yeah. Do you know Avon Hertz? Avon Hertz. Yes, the Avon Hertz. Don't act all weird. I'm just a normal genius. I do very normal things like kite surf with presidents and date B-list actresses. I bleed real tears. This is real hair. I program, and I have actual emotions. I'm sort of like one of those things that is good at lots of things. Why isn't this person talking? Just, uh, don't worry about it. Mr. Hertz took his first company public when he was 22 years old. Uh, 21 and three quarters. I was worth a billion five by the time I was 25. I'm trying to save the world, for fuck's sake, man, if it'll let me. Yvonne was helping the IAA. The government. Helping the government. I was trying to be the government. My work with artificial intelligence. Thinking only better. That's my slogan, by the way. I was trying to guide the government through a security and ethics nightmare it had stumbled into when whoosh, I'm told, no thanks. It's a fucking joke, but I'm not laughing. Uh, Avon is worried that someone's trying to start a war. I'm not worried about it. I'm certain of it. The only problem is, I just don't know who exactly. And worse, Clifford doesn't know who. Uh, Clifford, that's his supercomputer. Ah, uh, it's a neural network of supercomputers. Clifford is a problem-solving facility. Say hello, Clifford. You're embarrassing me, Avon. I'm blushing. Give Clifford data and no more problem. Clifford was on to something, but now the data is gone. Gone? It has to be the Russians, or the North Koreans, or the Iranians, or the Chinese using a proxy agent. The fact is, if we cannot figure out who is behind these data breaches, then Clifford is useless. If we can get paid, of course we can help. There are three data thefts I need you to unbreach, rebreach, broach. I'm a natural communicator. I'm, uh... Yeah, you're getting off topic. No, this is the topic. How I've been treated. How I've been mistreated. It's an American tragedy. Kill the clever genius so that numbskulls could take cheap bribes. Yeah, I'll pay. I'll pay whatever it takes. We'll, uh, need serious cash. Six figures, minimum. No problem. My share price is through the roof. Look, three problems. Three easy enough solutions. Could you stop talking like you're giving a keynote speech, please? Do I do that? Yes! Three data thefts. 250 trillion data points in enemy hands. Three simple solutions. One, data courier. Murdered on the streets of Los Santos. Bodies at the morgue. Ah, uh, the morgue. You'll have to steal an ambulance to get in there. Old fashioned. Analog. I love it. Retro. Problem two. Four of these vans are beaming vast amounts of previously secure military data. You'll need cars to track them down. I have a sort of friend who has some cars you can borrow here. Okay, that sounds easy enough. What's the third? The big new server farm in Palomino has been compromised. I'm certain of it. No one believed me, and I have no idea how to prove it. But if someone could get inside... Oh, just give me a minute. I know these uh, stealth helicopters. These things. Huh? <laughs> now, uh, Avon, these all do seem a bit random. Of course they seem random, because you are not a supercomputer. Clifford will solve it for us. Just give us more data about the data so we can data it. All right, well, um, get to work and good luck. Pleasure to meet you. You look nice in that shirt, Avon. I like your hair. Thank you. Progkillclifford.exe. OK, hood off now. See? I told you they come back. Why do you do that? <laughs> because it makes me feel tingly inside. It's enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. So, 
Clifford and I analyzed the data. I mean, Clifford analyzed the data, and I analyzed Clifford. Uh, let me give you an example of my sort of thinking. Uh, could you stop it with the keynote thing? Uh, sorry, can I make a call here? Hello? Who's this? I'm calling you from a top secret former government facility. I told you, we told you to return the civilian life, Avon. It was all a setup, shortstop. Shortstop? <laughs> I always wanted to call someone that. Listen, you're going to get us all killed. It's as clear as the very natural looking hair on my head. What are you talking about? They're not plugs. Don't you see that the fact that they told you to fire me proves beyond all reasonable doubt that you were wrong and this is a conspiracy? Let me give you an analogy. Why are you talking like that? It really annoyed people when you were working on site. I'm a visionary. I see things. Listen, I'm running late to a departmental potluck, so... Fuck your potluck! This is about stopping a fucking war! Not that again. Goodbye, Avon. See you on planet Earth one of these days. Potluck? Of course. Of course, it's... it's now. It's fucking now. Clifford is right. The data is clear. It's right now. The entire department is out sharing meatloaf and potato salad so their base can be permanently shut down. We have to do something now. Right, well, we are a bunch of armed felons, and you're breaking all kinds of security clearances and discussing the musings of a badly named computer. No police force in the world is going to believe us. You'll have to go there and stop it right now. I'll pay. I'll pay whatever it takes. It takes a lot. All right, off we go, huh? I'll keep you posted. Come on, let's go. Where are they? Here. Can I get some caffeine here? Vamos, people. You're late. If you worked for me, I'd fire you. We do work for you, and you can't afford to fire us. Very clever. We're trying to stop a global crisis, and you're quibbling about employment law. Remind me to explain why you never had a successful startup go ballistic. My god, you are annoying. <laughs> I'm very successful. I can afford to be annoying. I date a lot. I'm a millennial. <laughs> You're 38. I'm on the cusp. Don't try to put me in a box. This guy, bonkers. We have a real problem here. Every time Clifford looks at the data, this is not good. I told you it wasn't good. I undersold it. This is the apocalypse, the doomsday scenario. Since we uncovered the mole, we realized tip of the iceberg doesn't do its justice. Tip of the... tip of the big iceberg! There's Russian and Chinese agents at work all over the city. The president's been informed. The president's been misinformed. You don't understand what I'm saying. Ah, <sighs> these fucking civil servants. Soul-crushing socialists, the lot of you. People like you hold people like me back. Okay, other than objectivism, what are we doing here? Well, sadly, I think he's right. There's a submarine off the coast. We have to find out what it's doing there. And then blow it up. No! That's exactly what they want. That's the war. Humanity's last stand. Mushroom clouds, fallout. Fifty generations of living in caves before someone reinvents fire. I need your team to get on there. That and find out what happened to the missing agent. This man. Okay. Codename ULP was kidnapped last night. He was looking into data breaches in our department and was on to something. Now he's gone. Possibly dead. He's not dead. I'm sure of that. We're gonna need an Avenger if we're ever gonna get on that submarine. There's one in a hangar at LSIA. They keep keys to the hangar in the noose vans. Well, I'm gonna need riot bands too. I've got a plan here. Then start a riot and steal one. This cannot be traced back to me. <sighs> I cannot believe I said that. All that fucking ethics training. And you need to get underwater somehow, undetected. Underwater? Undetected? To find out about the security around the submarine before the assault. Okay, okay, I know, I know. Strombergs. These things. Yeah, all right, let me see if I can source a few. Got a couple here that are wrecked. Right here. So you got this? Yeah, yeah, sure. Just a little, uh, world war to prevent. In that case, we don't need to know anymore. Let's go. All of you. Okay, just give me a minute. All right, there. That's everything. Plans there should be pretty obvious. I'll be in touch. Good luck.
Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait, wait, can we calm down for just one minute? For less than one minute! Look, you look very much like you have wrong end of shit. You've got stuck in the stick. You're up creek with battle of crap! Look, look! I, how you say it? I'm here to help! Look! That's code name Bogdan! Kill him! No, kill me all you like! But stop! Listen, 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 listen. Sure, I would like to destroy America, control Russia, and destroy fabric of civilization as we know it. But these are all piping dreams. I am here to help solve the real problem. And what's the real problem? You! You are real problem! You're doing dirty work for Avon Quartz and his machine, Cliffy. Oh, cigarette. <laughs> Oi, now, listen, think about it. If you let insecure little egomaniac play God, then fake human brain he builds will be brain of insecure little egomaniac. My scientists have studied Clifford. Clifford <laughs> is asshole. Exactly. And him and Quartz want us to kill each other. Hmm. I don't believe a word of it. Well, how do I make this up? How indeed. Well, thank you, Bogdan. Thank you, Mr. Crest. Thank you, silent, psychotic peons. But this, this is where I say arrivederci. No, I mean, uh, get ready. I mean, this is where I'm in charge. Me and Clifford. Go fuck yourselves, losers! Yes, losers! Yes, we're in charge, me and my dad. We're in charge, and this outdated low-tech submarine will self-destruct in 30 seconds. I think you've got to get out of there quickly! Scuba gear by hatch over there! I have secret escape pod! Good luck! Okay, okay, thank God you got here. Ugh, that guy that just, oh, oh I feel like such a fool. Oh, my whole life, I have hated successful people, never trusted anyone. I've doubted and loathed and acted like a creep. And the one time I decide to be nice to someone, it turns out he wants to destroy humanity. This is all your fault. My career is in ruins. Ruins! Our planet will be in ruins, you fool, if we don't do something. He has control of all your systems. We can't even call out for help. Then you can do exactly what you have to. You have my authority. And we'll get paid? Paid? Yeah, call it the pension contribution. Of course, significant ones. All right, then get this clown out of here. For all I know, you're bugged all to high hell and you don't even know the bugs exist! Good luck. <laughs> we don't need luck. <laughs> I always wanted to say that between us, we are completely fucked! Ah! Meet me back at the facility. I'll be in contact when I have a plan. Oh, good. You're here. Because if we're going to stop this little bastard and his idiotically named AI neural network from destroying humanity, we're going to need to act fast. Like shit up stick. Yes, exactly. Now that we know this little bastard is going to unleash hell, he is buying customized missile launchers, tanks, and SUVs. We need to intercept these. Oh, you. Where is that IAA agent? Kidnapped. Now he's got two of my agents. Kidnapped? Yes, the little asshole got himself trapped this morning. Where do you find these morons? You're going to have to bring him back for me. Two dead agents, no payday. How is that our business? If there are dead agents, it doesn't matter if you save the Earth from communism. Your check won't Cash. Not my rules. It's to keep us from killing each other. Okay, 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 okay. Just where was he grabbed? Merriweather's got him. They're going to sell him to Avon or to the highest bidder at the port. Well, why don't we just buy him back instead? Okay, yeah. But you'll need cash. Maybe I'll put you in touch with our good friends, the FIB. They just had some funding come through. I hate the FIB and Merriweather. 
Avon was debriefing ULP when he was kicking this off. ULP's in custody, but his secret transmitter is still live. He thinks he can steal one of their choppers to escape if we're able to protect him. Avon has the entire defense infrastructure at his fingertips. We, we would need a, a, a ballistic missile launcher to have half a chance. And I know where to get one. Oh. <laughs> okay. Like it is, you need to stop Clifford from getting hardware it requires to kill everybody. Democracy is problem. People have too many ideas in my day. Ideas, bad. Get to work. I'll be in touch. And expect the worst. He's on to us. You did good. Very good. Thank you. I brought them in. Uh, they're my contacts, it's like I said. I thought you said you never met them. I never met some of them. Don't worry. Haven't you caused enough trouble? OK, can I get a status report, Mr. Crest? Not good. We calm things down, but if Avon's going to be stopped once and for all, we have to shut off Clifford's connection. Where is Avon? Where is Clifford? Can't we just unplug it? It doesn't work quite like that. What with it not being 1987? I'm trying to find him. He's gone dark. When I have a lead, I'll be in touch. Thank you. All right, people, stay alert. I hacked into that door. That door is shut. Do not open that door. You won't. Wait, this door or the one in the back? This person is very annoying. I hope he dies in the nuclear blast, Avon. <laughs> Don't worry, Clifford. Everyone will. Missile protocol initiated. Only seconds to apocalypse. Just a second. This door? You did not hack it. You never even opened it. I could hack it. Prove it. Open it. I can prove it anytime I like. No, Clifford! Voila. <laughs> Your AI is vain and insecure. I wonder where he gets that from. You can't stop progress, you fools! I'm the future of a tidal wave of tsunamis! I cannot be stopped! Clifford cannot be stopped! <laughs> Get in those silly jetpacks and chase that little snot! Uh, now, when you see the boss, can you let her know that this was all my master plan and uh, I should get a promotion? No, 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 no. We should have let you fry. <laughs> you let me fry? Oh, shut up! Mr. Crest. Mr. Crest, the government owes you a big apology. Oh, and we're also going to expunge all those charges on your record. No, not exactly. Clifford? Oh, Clifford. <laughs> it's going to be like he never existed. He'll probably be turned into call center software or uh, GPS for skateboards. Thank you. All of you. The world... The world owes you a massive favor. Oh, um... Well, we like cash. Understood. <laughs> oh, and, uh, those were all innocent mistakes, so let's just make sure the record says that. Thank you. There will be no record. Fourteen? Mrs. Rackman? You brought Avon Hertz into the government. And these guys. And these guys. If I can, I will fire you. I'm protected class. Yes. Moronic. Now all of you get out of here. Let's all pretend this never happened. Mr. Crest? We'll send you the money. Thank you. <laughs> well, that is just about enough apocalypse excitement for me. And here I was, thinking I could indulge in a little light larceny, you know? I gotta go lie down someplace quiet and think about happy thoughts and simpler times. You know, back when I only had to worry about feeling lonely because girls didn't like me, you know, like, uh... <laughs> Even though I hated it at the time, I actually really miss high school. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that, but, but I do. Well, this has been uh, horrifying. Really, really horrifying, but uh, also pretty fun. So, bye-bye. Well, I'm 
I'm here. <laughs> I was just gonna message you back and tell you to dick off. Then I thought, well, why not? Why not go down there and meet him and tell him to dick off IRL? Look, look, whatever you want from me, whatever this big new job is, I'm out, okay? I'm done. I already took every decent score in the state. I cleaned out the Union Depository. I took down the IAA and the FIB. I rang the bell on half the Bossack 500 CEOs. I have more money than I could ever spend. Okay, so that's it. I always dressed like a retiree. Now, I actually am one. So go ahead, so I can tell you to shove it up your honey. I messaged you. No, 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 no. You messaged me. Who hacked my phone? We did. In case you don't recognize her, this is Georgina Chang, vice president of Chang Holdings. Investor, philanthropist, socialite. She was just voted the 89th best-dressed lady in China. Yeah, yeah. Ni hao. I did my undergrad in London, my master's in the spiritual mystery class. You can speak English. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Miss Chang has come to Los Santos to deal with a regrettable incident. Oh, let me guess. The Diamond Casino and Resort? You upset that Thornton Duggan muscled you out? My older brother was in charge. He was taken advantage of. Yeah, well, private equity money's always gonna try to screw you, lady. You wanna talk to a lawyer, not us. You misunderstand. I don't want the casino back. I want them to wish they never heard of it. <laughs> How so? You're going to rob it. <laughs> and why would we do that? Aside from the vault stuffed with cash and different guest consignments every week, there's a challenge. Better security than anything you've ever seen. A truly dynamic and adaptive system. No offense, Miss Chang, but every job I've ever done was impossible. Until I did it. Perhaps. But do you know what? They told me you were the best in the business. <laughs> and it only took me five minutes to kill myself. Okay. Maybe I'm uh, a little stale. But I'm not coming out of retirement every time some new money sink opens up. I'm going to need more of a reason. Then maybe you do it for me. Because I'm asking you as a favor. I'm not looking to make any money out of this. Anything you get is all yours. We'll need a base of operations. Find something, but we can't have anything to do with it. Your associate will have to be the front. I'm not going to pretend I haven't already looked into this job a little bit, you know, a professional curiosity. So I'll send you a mail, and it's up to you. Now, if you'll all excuse me, I don't want to miss the early bird special. Bye, then. He's just how I thought he'd be. I hope you can help us. Wang, let's go. Yes, why not? My Uncle Les said that this job was in games. I, I was thinking more of a esports league, you know, like packed out stadiums and global streaming rights and professional athletes that make millions of dollars and they look like me, not a, a museum. I mean, some of these games are older than I am. Okay, do you want the gig or not? There's a bunch of kids who chopped their arms off, but the boss told me I had to give it to you. No, I, I do. I want it. J just tell me what to do. Do you know how to use a broom? I, I... Wendy! Hey. Hey. How's he doing? Actually, don't tell me. Jimmy, everyone has to start somewhere. I know, I know. This is not how privilege is supposed to work. Oh, he's a family friend. I give him a week tops. So, uh, what do you think? We need some more cabinets, a bit of a spruce up. <laughs> this way. You know, I grew up in these kinds of places. Figure I might as well grow old in one. <laughs> now, this laptop will tell you everything you need to do. Why don't we, uh, hear our fortune, hmm? <laughs> the odds are in your favor when you cheat. <laughs> a little something I put together. Anyway, of course, We'll have to get set up down here, too. You gotta use your imagination. Now this is an area for your crew to work. And we'll keep the getaway cars there. We've got a practice area here, maybe. And a garage through here if you uh, knock this down. And another laptop here. And maybe some sleeping quarters way back down that way. And right here, is where we will put the planning boards. Everything we need to design the most complex robbery this city has ever seen. <laughs> Hello? Oh, oh. Oh, 
look. <laughs> Hi. Oh, so this is the nerve center. <laughs> I must say, I'm very excited to have you both on board. Be excited once we've cleared out the casino vault. Or when Thornton Duggan throws himself off the roof. <laughs> I like you. Do you now? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so there's, uh, you know, some work to be done, but everything looks on track. If you want, I could run you through some of my ideas. And I can run you through some of mine. Uh, sure. Come back to my hotel. The rich men. We'll get some food and discuss it all. Y um, sure thing. I'll, uh, it's, it's, it's a date. <laughs> a an appointment. <laughs> You're so funny. Good work. This place will be perfect. Let's go. Okay, I'll uh, come back once you've got everything set up. Call me, okay? It's not working. These dumbass pieces of shit. I mean, I swear to God, they're not even connected to a network. And <laughs> they're busted. I mean, come on. Are they plugged in? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. What was I supposed to know about that? Lester, you got a visitor. Coming. Oh. You mean the owner is here, Wendy? Yeah. So, we're uh, getting there, aren't we? Once we get the rest of the cabinets set up. You know, I have kill screened a shit ton of these babies. And by the time I'm done, I will do them all. Just wait till you see what we've done downstairs. We have been very busy. Hi. <laughs> you remember Miss Chang? Call me Georgina. And Huang? Yes, great. The place looks great. Good work. So? I'm terribly sorry, but we have to move along. John Pensy just ordered rosé. What? Uh, they can wait. Lester, you're going to say? Yes. We were brainstorming some ideas the other night and came up with a, a whole new approach. When Georgina said that security is a level above anything I've encountered before, she was right. So, there's going to be three parts to our heist. <laughs> Scoping! Prepping and the score, except this time they're all going to be much more um, interrelated. You see, what you scope sets up what you can prep, which then sets up how you do the score. Depending on how hard you look, you might find one exit route, or you might find a few, which then gives you different options. Ideally, if you scope it right, there will be three main ways to do the job. Number one, aggressive. Number two, silent. And sneaky, number three, the big con, you know, like subterfuge, and with variation on how we can pull off all of these. Like, uh, like this. Are you with me? Now tell them what we talked about, about the job. Ah, yes. Yes, I was, uh, just getting to that. <laughs> Um, you see, with security like this, we'll need to be more adaptive. If our approach isn't working, we got to be ready to switch it up on the fly. Before, if you were caught being sneaky, we just called the whole thing off. But now, you're going to transition to the more aggressive approach, and you keep on pushing. It's amazing. If only we could keep on doing it. Rub it every week. I want this casino to be the anvil around Thornton Duggan's neck. Yes, but let's start by just doing it once. I got a text. The rosé is getting warm. Georgina, please. Oh, Huang. If you need me for anything, please don't hesitate to call. We'll stay in town until it's done. It's in good hands. I mean it. Anything, call me. Roger that. <laughs> Roger that. Idiot. <sighs> okay, well, take a look at the board. And when you're ready, you know what to do. <laughs> guys at Burger Shot just didn't understand me, you know? I had, like, too many ideas, so now I'm just concentrating pretty much full-time on the vape thing. That Snapmatic algorithm is a bitch, though. Ooh, hoo 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 looking good, Uncle Lest. What? I... You know what? One more word and I'm gonna put you on a terror watch list, I swear to God. Ooh, Lester's got a girlfriend. Wendy, get this dope cleaning toilets. I don't want to see him for the rest of the day. Yo, will you go clean the toilets? Like, now? Fine. Ah, good. Come on, let's do this thing. Time to crack that diamond, baby. <laughs> that casino who would clear any one of us out, leave us poor and destitute. Well, today, their luck is gonna run out. 
Because if there is one thing that I just love screwing more than a casino, it is a private equity a-hole. Come on! Yeah! Now, we have planned, we have prepped, and we are ready to go. Your friend is here! Uh, yeah, yeah, send her down. Okay. How do I look? Yeah? Okay. Oh, an exciting day. Is, um, Georgina going to be joining us? Regrettably, Miss Chang was called back to the mainland. I will be representing the holding company's interests. Yes, that is, um, that is regrettable. If everything is in order, shall we continue? Yes, there's a few more decisions to be made, but then we can proceed if, uh, if you want to do the honors, that's, that's good, that's... All right, we're ready to roll. You better pull this off. Georgina made a big personal risk making this happen. We won't let her down. All right, let's go for it, people. I'll be calling the shots for mission control. <clears throat> ah, you're here, you're here. Come on over to the edge and take a look at her. <laughs> we did it. Cleaned it out. Jackpot. The diamond was unbreakable, and we broke it. <laughs> here, have a swig of that. It is muy bueno. Got some for me. I, uh, I thought you went back. I did, but I'm here now. Didn't want to miss the celebrations. Duggan's insurance premium has already doubled. And it'll keep doubling if we hit the place again. Do you really think that's actually possible? Uh, we couldn't approach it the same way. They'll be expecting that, but uh, we come at it from a new direction. You're a very resourceful man, Mr. Crest. Here I was, thinking that I was retired. Didn't have anything left to give. How about now? How did you hack my cell phone? <laughs> You're going to have to work harder for that. So guys, the reason why I don't say nothing about people calling me Lester is because I'm tired of explaining myself. Y'all should already know not to do that, but y'all do it anyway, so that's why...